Hello everyone, uh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, today we are going to uh, discuss about some basics of uh, drawing of teeth. So the drawing of teeth are included in the curriculums of uh, numerous dental schools around the world. So this is one of the drawing, one of the possible drawings of the teeth. So these drawings are included in the curriculums of uh, numerous dental schools around the world now with, with some basic differences. So students uh, usually have a question in their mind, like why these drawings are important and, or why we should draw uh, these teeth. So one of the basic answer um, to this question is in the clinical years ahead and in the clinical practice, you have to carve and design restorations. Um, so in those years, this dental anatomy knowledge or these practical will help you out. So now, what are the basic requirements uh, of for the drawing of teeth? So, or what are the tools, or what are the arm? What is the armamentarium that is required? So, the first thing you require is the plastic teeth. These are the plastic models. So, if you have these, so you will it is it will be more easier for you to draw. Uh, if you don't have these model models, uh, don't worry. Uh, you may use these plaster models that are relatively inexpensive, but uh, they have only crown portion. So even if you don't have these plaster teeth, there are pictures in your textbooks. For example, this is one of the textbook of dental anatomy. And in this textbook, if you see, These are the picture of the teeth that you can use while drawing, um, while drawing on a graph paper or a drawing book. So uh, the second thing that you require is the proper dimensions of the tooth. So for the dimensions of the tooth again in your book. So in this in this page you can see. Um, that is a cervical incisal length of the crown. So all these measurements are given that will help you out in drawing of the teeth. Now, what else you need is the graph paper. So this is a graph paper. This is another one. This is another graph paper. You can see over here. So this is a graph paper. In this graph paper, this graph paper is one upon 10. It means in one inch, there, are, there will be 10 boxes. So there are graph papers in which uh, the boxes are very small and it makes the drawing very uh, drawing. It is very difficult to draw on those graph papers. So it is written as one is to 10. It means uh, in one inch, there are 10 boxes. Now you need some basic stationery as well. You need a millimeter scale. You need a millimeter scale. Uh, what else you need? You need a pencil. Either this pencil or, or, or a simple graphite pencil. Uh, uh, and the pencil, the pencil should be sharp. And you need a rubber to make any corrections in your drawing. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any query, uh, you can ask me in the comments. Um, please give me your feedback. I'll uh, try to upload uh, videos uh, demonstrating the, the drawing of the maxillary central incisor soon. Uh, thank you very much for watching.